Um, Rob, Pat Beverly has a new, is it new? A, a podcast. Yeah, just this season. He had his former teammate with the Timberwolves, Carl Anthony Towns, on. And uh, Pat Beverly said, Rob, after the finals, I mean, before it would have just been been just as bad, but after the finals, that the best big man in the NBA is Carl Anthony Towns. Now, Tim Hardaway I got, Senior. I got one question, Chris. Can you turn the station on the podcast? I just want to I, I know, right? I mean, it really, Nothing like, Alex can not turn the station? Okay. All right. uh, Rob G, Tim Hardaway Sr. said he's not even a top five center. <laughs> what was his... What was his list, Tim Hardaway Sr.? Yeah, he said today on the Carton Show on FS1, we wanted to get the sound, but it was like a six-minute rant. You can't really whittle it down that much. But um, his top five in order was Jokic, Embiid, Bam, Brooke Lopez, and Sabonis. I I think Carl Anthony Towns is better than Sabonis. Sabonis is great. He's an all-star, and I voted for him to be an all-star. Um, I think Carl Anthony Towns is better than him. I think he's better than Brooke Lopez, who is a role player in, in uh, Milwaukee, and a great defender. And um, I think individually, like he's better than Bam. Obviously, he's not better than Embiid and Jokic. But if you ask me who I'd rather have on my team, I'd probably say Bam because Bam's a better defender. Bam's just a little tougher, a little harder. Um, and Bam can score. He's not the, I mean, Carl Anthony Towns is talented. He is a no joke player. And there were years ago, Rob, I would have said he got next. And not, not that he was going to be like the best player in the league, but as far as who's going to be the best big man in the league, there was a time I would have said, oh, it's going to be Carl Anthony Towns. But Rob, over the past several years, he just hasn't shown us that he's kind of got that toughness and is able to really lead a team or impact winning at a high level for all the numbers he puts up. So that's why, you know, his talent is great, but that's why I'd say that's lunacy that he they would say he's the best big man in the league. Yeah, I just this is uh, player hyperbole, and I, I can't say what I really think it is, but this is what happens when guys <laughs> just get around Chris and just start talking and, well, you know Carl Anthony out. Towns wasn't going to push back. He no, was on, I, the, on the show. No, I'm right, right. Back, I mean, I get that. I mean, sure, I'll take the compliment. What am I going to do, push back? <laughs> when somebody's saying I'm the best center in the league, of course you're not going to push back. But I just don't I, – I just – I don't get it. Like, I, I don't understand it, but this is why, you know, you consider the source. Can I just say that? It, it just – Carl Anthony Towns, Chris, is a very, very, very – Good play, yeah. Okay, very Three-time good. All star. Yes, yep. I'm not very good. I there's no. I'm not. I don't. I, nothing I dislike about him. I like the energy he gives you. I I like all that stuff. But the just the the idea that you think it's uh, or somebody uh, Patrick Beverly thinks he's the best center in the league is just where does that come from? I think Rob. Uh, and this is something Carl Anthony Towns is going to have to work to overcome. The first dent in his armor, if you will, was when he kind of got into it with Joel Embiid. Remember years ago, and Embiid, they had a nice little rivalry, and Embiid was just like, dude, you soft. You soft. And obviously, again, Embiid is a better player. And then the next thing, and I, Rob G, correct me if I'm wrong, if I got the order wrong. But the thing that really hurt Carl Anthony Towns' reputation and image was Jimmy Butler. And I'm not blaming Jimmy. But when Jimmy was in Minnesota and was, like, done with all of those dudes, including Andrew Wiggins, and he was, like, basically, like, they, 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 they ain't trying to win. They soft. And Jimmy Butler, it, one thing he ain't is soft. And so you're not going to question Jimmy Butler's competitiveness you're not going to question his heart. You, you, when he is like, man, these dudes aren't, they not about to win. I'm, I want out of here. Then people are going to believe it because of what he's done on the court and what he's made himself into. And Wiggins, Rob, has overcome that when he went to Golden State. Now, granted, in Minnesota, he was a number one or two in Golden State. And I said it when he went there. Oh, he's going to be a great number four. 
and number three scorer and number four player behind Draymond. And that's what he is. He is awesome in that role, and he has reinvented himself to the point where he is now a very highly respected player again. And Carl Anthony Towns, Rob, there's some people looking at him sideways. Am, am I I mean, they looking at him like, dude, you were supposed to be more. Well, they, they expected more once the right? deal was made. Like, they thought that they were going to to take it to another level. And it was, to say the least, disappointing. Wouldn't you say that? It was disappointing. Yeah, and, and not just this year, though. I mean, it's just the last, again, I, again, I, th- I think that was a big turning point for him was when Jimmy Butler basically called him out. Like, dude, y'all soft. Y'all, I mean, I, I, I'm out of this place. I'm trying to win. And granted, he wanted money too, but I'm trying to win. Y'all don't have it. And so you're going to have to prove to the basketball world that you got it. Nobody doubts your jump shot. Nobody doubts your handle. Nobody doubts your passing ability, your rebounding ability. But people want to know, can you turn that into winning? And and I I would love to see him do it because, Rob, you said the dude can play. But foolishness like this, like you're the best player, best big man in the league – Again, Rob, we've seen Kevin Durant kind of talk about skills and and that's we get it. That's the only I mean, Pat Bev just rides for his guys. Remember, we saw him doing that with about James Harden on TV and then dissing CP3 because that's not one of his guys. So we get Pat Bev's MO. But I also think he is saying what big can shoot like him? And you can argue Jokic for sure, but what big you know, got got his skills and things like that. And obviously, Jokic, to me, is more skilled. Yeah, but, and, 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 and also, Chris, uh, he doesn't have any MVPs. Can we just start there? I right, mean, right. like, seriously. And I, I'm not even, like, close. And that's he, not even He Chris, may have never even gotten an MVP vote. Right, we can look at the, the tally and see if he's ever even gotten a vote for MVP. Like, how could you even have that? No, and Rob G just checked it, Chris. No MVP votes. Yeah, yeah. Stop. Can we and, stop there? And it'd there? be surprising if he did have one. I but, mean, I'm keeping it real. It, right? I, I'd be shocked if he had an MVP but vote. But that's what I'm when? saying. Like, can what we can, can we start there before yeah. you can even make that? Uh, you can say you like a guy, Chris. I can like you a lot. You're not the best radio guy in the history of radio. <laughs> neither am I. Right. And you know if, what I mean? If, I, if, neither if am I. If he had said, Rob, if he had said, and you're absolutely right, if he had said, Yo, Cat, you my boy. But Jokic is number one. Joel Embiid, the MVP. I got to get him number two. You three, you know, something like that. I mean, how is Carl Anthony Towns going to have an issue with that? I don't, I, don't, you, I don't think you could, to be honest, right? I mean, what would be the issue? Or you could say, Chris, if you want to personalize it and say, dude, if I'm picking a team, this is the guy I want to be right. my center because he does all these things, and man, I love playing with him. And of all the centers I've ever played with, Chris, he's the best guy I ever played with. Can I? Can I do that? Right, because he never played with Jokic and, or, or Shaq, or you know what <laughs> I mean. Did he play with Embiid, I mean, yeah. but you get my point. Like right, you could, you right. could make that case, and then I can't push back on that. You're just talking about your experience, right? Absolutely, or your preference. Look, Jokic is all that. I can't take anything away from you. But I like my man is Cat. I went to I've been on this team. We've been went to war together. That's my man. You know, something like that. But come on, right? And this stuff doesn't help the new media, right? Because it's just lunacy. 